You know, as technology advances, music gear has come a long way, especially for guitar amps, from the classic tube valve amplifiers to solid state transistor amplifiers. But now there's a new way of thinking when it comes to guitar amps, cabs and microphones. And it's been around for a while, but you probably just haven't seen it. Introducing the new X Solid Studio SS5, a cabinet, amplifier and microphone simulator, all housed in a foot switch style effects pedal. I purchased this pedal from Music Planet for around $299 New Zealand. This pedal is ideal for guitarists who are willing and daring enough to give up using their amplifiers on stage and instead have their guitar monitoring come through on stage fallbacks or with in-ear monitors. But don't worry, you can still utilize this pedal with the use of a guitar amp on stage. The SS5 allows you to select between eight different speaker cabinets, eight types of microphones with three different mic placement positions and three types of tube valve emulation giving you over 570 different possible combinations of tonal simulation. Stack this pedal with the new X Cerberus and you'll have an all-in-one fly rig for stage or studio. Say goodbye to your guitar amp. I've made a short audio demonstration to only give you examples of how the tonal characteristics change on the pedal. I don't have enough time to show you all the possible sound settings, but trust me, there's a lot. You can check out the audio demo from the link in the description. On the back of the pedal, you have your input-output options. Your guitar plugs into the quarter-inch jack connector. You can then send the dry signal from your guitar using the through output to your guitar amp. The output will send the pedal's current active cab and amp simulation to a stereo headphone or a mono mix direct into your audio interface or mixer. Alternatively, you can use the XLR output, which is located on the side of the pedal. To power this pedal, you need a 9 volt 240 milliamp DC center negative power adapter. You can also connect this to your PC apparently, but I haven't done this yet. I assume it's for firmware updates or possibly something more. There is also a plus 4 dB or negative 10 dB attenuation and a switch allowing you to toggle between using the line and speaker output for various connection methods. When the cab mic foot switch is on, you are activating, simulating, and controlling the tonal characteristics of the selected cabinet, the type of microphone used on the selected cab, and the microphone placement of the selected cabinet speaker. The SS5 simulates eight different kinds of guitar speaker cabs, including a Roland Jazz Chorus, a Fender Deluxe Reverb, a 4x12 Fender Bassman, a Vox 2x12 AC30, a Fender 2x12 Twin Reverb, a Marshall 1960 4x12, a 4x12 Celestian Greenback, and a 4x12 Celestian Vintage 30. The pedal also simulates a variety of microphones used on the cab simulation, including a Sennheiser MD421, a Shure SM57, a Newman U87, Royer R122, an AKG C414, an AKG C3000, and a Shure Beta 52. You can select three different placements of the selected microphone, either the edge, middle, or center of the speaker. When the amp foot switch is on, you are activating, simulating, and controlling the tonal characteristics of a power amp using the master, drive, and presence knobs. You can select three different tubes or valves to simulate, including an EL84, 6V6, and an EL34. The master knob controls the output level of the simulated amp. The drive knob adjusts the amount of gain to the power amp simulation. The presence knob adjusts the treble frequencies of the power amp. Adjusting any or all of these knobs and switches gives you hundreds of various tonal possibilities. There's just so many to explore. You can even capture your own speaker profile and save it to the SS5 pedal. The only thing I would like to have seen was maybe a 48 volt phantom power option using the XLR output to power the entire pedal, just like what you'd see on the Tech 21 VT Base DI. Other than that, this pedal is pretty well built and provides plenty of options for recording and playing live. 
If you saw my last video about the new X Cerberus, you'll know that it comes with the same cab simulation as the Solid Studio. The Cerberus, however, requires a USB cable and the dedicated app to change the cab simulation and assign it to preset banks. But what I like to do is stack the Cerberus with the Solid Studio, allowing me immediate and instant control over not just the cab simulation, but also the power amp and the microphone. Just plug your guitar into the Cerberus, then use the output of the Cerberus going into the inputs of the Solid Studio. You can then use the XLR output on the side or the quarter inch jack at the back and go directly into an audio interface or front of house mixer. The setup is so convenient it fits perfectly on a Pedal Train Nano Plus and packs away snug in the carry case. That's all I need for a gig. Now, I'm not saying go and get rid of your guitar amp and only use an amp simulator, that's not what I'm saying. You can still use this pedal with the through output going to a dedicated amplifier. I'm only pointing out that technology has come so far that it's only a matter of time before having amps on stage becomes a thing of the past. Maybe it's time for guitarists to start investing in a stage monitor to use with an amp and cab sim. If you have a decent amount of fallbacks or stage monitors, or maybe you're using in-ear monitors, then maybe it's time you start thinking about going ampless. It's just a thought. Thanks for watching Band on a Budget.